What is happening, all you artist nerds? Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how to go from small to large oil paintings. This is something that I do quite a bit. I bounce from super small paintings, like an 8 by 8 inch, and then I jump up to 4 foot by 4 foot paintings, or like the one we're showing here today. This one is a 30 by 40 inch. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take the thoughts of ChatGPT and see if it knows what the heck it's doing today. I don't know. We'll see. What I typed in to the old ChatGPT was tips for creating large oil paintings. It did give me some decent topics to discuss. It gave me some thoughts. And before we get into that, just really quick, check out my Patreon page if you do want to learn how to oil paint. I got a lot of beginner tutorials on there all the way up to super advanced. So if you're a beginner, if you're somewhere in the middle, if you're really maybe at the top of your game and you just want to see how somebody else paints, check it out. There's a lot on there for everybody. All right, I'm done with a little plug now. Let us see here. What is ChatGPT thinking today? It starts off with creating large oil paintings can be a rewarding but challenging endeavor. That is true. I will say that it is more challenging the bigger you get. The one thing I'll say about all this is you have to have a lot of patience, and I'm sure ChatGPT is going to mention patience somewhere in all of its little bullet points, but there's a time to paint small. If I'm having one of those days where I just want to paint something and get it done, going really small is nice and satisfying. You can knock one out in a day or maybe two days, but when you get into large paintings, you have to realize there's a road ahead that's going to require some patience, some frustration, a lot of extra steps can make it seem like, why am I even bothering with this painting when you're halfway through? But once you're done, it will be more rewarding. I'm sure people that do giant murals on the sides of buildings, they're very rewarded. But for today, we have a three, 30 by 40 inch painting. This one actually turned out really nice. So watch that as we discuss all these little things that ChatGPT wants to talk about. Now, the first one that ChatGPT says here is to plan and sketch. This is a very good tip. I will agree. I, When I plan, I don't do a lot of sketching ahead of time. I like to do a lot of my planning in Photoshop. I like to crop it. I like to get some color ideas figured out. I'll get the concept in general figured out through Photoshop. And then I will start just painting away with the general shapes on my panel, knowing that I already have that figured out. So like you go into it with a lot more confidence if you have some sort of planning in place, whether you decide to paint a little test painting on a smaller panel or a smaller canvas, that's a good way to go just to see if the colors work. If you're not big into Photoshop, that could be a good way to go if you just want to paint smaller and see if it's going to make sense. The one thing I will mention though is paintings do take on a different visual look the bigger you get because your paint brushes are only so big. You're going to get a very different variety of textures and detail the bigger you go. Just keep that in mind when you're doing a smaller painting. It's really good for conceptualizing the colors and the general idea, but as far as textures and things go, you're not going to really get much of that figured out when you go from small to big. Okay, the next one that ChatGPT mentions is choose the right surface. That is definitely true. I think having a well-prepared surface is always good. For me, I like to use ampersand brand uh, gesso panels. If I'm not making my own, for bigger panels, I like that brand because they have a nice two-inch deep wood cradle on the back that will really help uh, with keeping the panel flat against the wall. You know, if you make your own or if you get a if you get a canvas or a panel that doesn't have a very deep frame to it, there's a good chance the bigger you go, it's going to warp. Establish a focal point. That's the next one that Chad GPT has. I would say this one kind of goes back to the very first one it mentioned, the planning stage. If you're getting it cropped, you're getting it all sketched out or maybe doing a pre-sketch, you're going to figure out where your focal point is. So I feel like Chad GPT is being a little redundant with that one. We'll skip that one. Layer techniques. What does Chat GPT say with layer techniques? With a larger canvas, you can experiment with layering techniques. I suppose that's true. I, you could play with layer techniques on a smaller painting too. So I'm not really sure that one really is totally needed in here, ChatGPT. I think that's the biggest fail that ChatGPT has had so far. Work in sections is the next one. This one definitely applies to larger pieces. The more surface you have to work with, the more you're going to have to plan ahead as far as what parts you want to work on. I decided with this one that for the first couple passes, I was generally just working on getting things in the right spot. And then after I got that figured out, I started focusing on one hand at a time for the most part, or both hands. 
and then focusing on one hand at a time after I got more detail in there. I worked on the face as a separate part, then I worked on the color as another part, and then I started building color towards the end and maybe doing some touch-ups with the hands and the mouth towards that very end of this painting. So definitely work in sections. I think that really helps. If you are, if you end up jumping all over the place when you get bigger, it does become a little bit more frustrating, I found. So once you get the general composition and get everything laid out, go into certain spots and stay in that area for that day and then work on another part for another day. Or depending on how much you want to work on one day, you may allow yourself to get through a lot more of it. But for me, these bigger ones, I can usually work on just one hand on the one day, go to the next one. And I find that I'm way more efficient by focusing in on a 12 by 12 inch area per day is what I would say is a good kind of rule of thumb. All right, the next one here, be patient. Well, they did actually mention it here. ChatGPT was right to put this in here because I even talked about this before. Being patient, we've already talked about it in the first point, I think, so I'm gonna skip that one. Experiment with texture. ChatGPT is very right with this. I'm amazed ChatGPT did a great job with that one. Experimenting with texture. The bigger you go, there is so much more fun you can have with texture. Now, there are painters that keep a kind of consistent texture through their whole painting, no matter what the size is. But for me, when I get bigger, this allows for so many different marks to be made or to play around with different palette knives and scrapers and all those things that I have at my disposal. I can really experiment or I feel like it opens up the chance to experiment more when the painting is larger. And the final one that ChatGPT mentions here is step back regularly. Now, I would agree that this doesn't really apply to just bigger paintings. This applies to any size painting, even if it's a really small one. Stepping back is gonna help you with so many things. It's gonna help you with seeing the composition. It's gonna help you with seeing the shapes clearly. It's gonna help see what drawing errors you've made. So step back as often as you can, especially if you have a moment where you just feel like you're stuck and you're just staring at it. This is a perfect time to step back, take a look, and you'll catch some things that you wouldn't notice if you're really close. Just know that if you go from small to big paintings, you're gonna find new problems that need to be conquered. If you wanna go big, go big. You will get used to the workflow. Just try to think of ways to get more efficient. All right, well, once again, ChatGPT did not let me down. It did a great job of finding some great points and I would definitely suggest you give painting large a try. Try every size and see which one works. I would say there is definitely a sweet spot of size for everybody's style. There's always room to do some quick little studies no matter what. I think if you do go large, it will allow you to express yourself in new ways. So definitely check it out. Don't get too frustrated. Give it a shot. All right, that wraps it up, all you art nerds. If you want to learn more about my painting practice or how I like to approach my oil paintings, check out my Patreon page where there's a bunch of tutorials on there. Thank you so much once again for checking out this video. I will talk to you again very soon.